Well, thank you both of you for coming on. This is of course, be it's good to be here. I'm pumped to, to. We were wondering right out of the gate. How, I made a big mistake earlier today. I called you uh, Salami Daddy. I didn't know <laughs> the uh, pastrami <laughs> poppy. Pastra- yeah, so I work in the post office. A lot of guys are just like just bust balls. And yeah, just yeah. Like, Poppy prosciutto, or like yeah, pastrami yeah. poppy. Yeah. Like, you know. Gabagool Godfather. Okay. Yeah, I like that, yeah. one. <laughs> that one. Could, so uh, walk me through the name choice. How did you get to? How did it happen? Yeah, so honestly, poppy, like, buddy, come on, I'm not holding it's champagne phone. poppy. <laughs> sh- champagne poppy. <laughs> champagne poppy was the inspiration. Like yep. obviously goat, and um, yeah, just pres- I just put one one and one together. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's not bad. And it did it come from your inspiration of meats, your your meat handling in the kitchen. This guy loves meat. <gasps> Honestly, I really yeah. didn't even like prosciutto for the longest time. What? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. as a that's kid, a... I would like just bite into the sub. It would just be fat, and I'm just like, what oh. is this? Are those fighting Spits words in your uh, heritage. I, like, we know each other. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you, Does yeah. Yell agree He's with us? I'm half Irish. I'm half Irish. Mm. Yeah, that's where so, it comes from. Corn beef and hash. You know. <laughs> He gets it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're both. I heard your question. We're yeah, both. From, yeah. We're both from East Boston. Yep. So we grew up together. Um, Ashley actually used to. I used to. I don't know. Do you babysit me? Or we were at the dancing competitions together. Let's go. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought this was my. We Ubered mic. over here. No one said that. <laughs> First off, that was just such a shade at my age. Like. No, <laughs> I'm not trying to shade your age. I'm just kidding. 1994. I'm totally kidding. Um, but no dance competitions for sure. Like I remember, like we'd all be like. You know, like in our makeup, doing like dances afterwards, and like you went to what Myrtle Beach, Atlantic City. You, uh, you went to Disney. I know of those, that. Yeah, one of those. No um, and you ever? <laughs> yeah. My, my <laughs> sister. <laughs> all right, let me clear. Let me clear. Like, we're all dressing up. Where are coming? After time. <laughs> Dance up. Let me clear the air here. So you get in here. Get my in si- here. my sister danced with Ashley, which okay. is why I was the yes. baby there. Yes. So Tommy wasn't dancing. Yeah. <laughs> no, so no, 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 no. I wish he was, but no. Definitely can't dance. Uh but yeah, no. So we we grew up in EC together. Uh, we, I mean, we've known each other since what, like four or five years old, probably. And then, um, yeah, that obviously stemmed like kind of where the content came from. Yep. So, I mean, you do the Italian, like you start off with like Italian stuff cooking. That's where the name kind of stemmed from. I do like the Italian yep. comedy yep. slash Boston stuff. That's kind of what stemmed my stuff. And then, yeah, the, the, the East Boston roots kind of like. They run deep. They shot us <laughs> up. They shot us one, up. You know, that. I mean, she knows too. Like, I mean, you you blew up on TikTok too, just literally having the accent. Like, Oh my God. It, it's nice now too. I'm sure you guys got it a lot. Um, all the accents fake, blah, 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 blah. And now people just know they're like, oh no, like she's legit from East All right, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I didn't realize how much street cred played like a, a big part in, you know, doing content in yeah, Boston. Yeah. Cause like yeah. when I first started, like, you know, you, you've got them too. Like people saying, oh, they're not even from here. Like you're probably from the suburbs or whatever. So now everyone knows I'm from Eastie. So it's like, yep. you know, that you kind of have like that respect. It sounds so stupid saying it, no, but it's 100%. like people take some yeah. shit on social media serious. Eastie <laughs> sounds way better than being from New Hampshire. Yeah. Right. Right. So wait, so, what, what part of New Hampshire are you uh, from? Winter, New Hampshire. So like Southern New Hampshire. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right how about, how about yourself? Same. So Same we met almost in, you guys. Yeah. Like, we met in fourth grade. Yep. Oh, and wow. just been like just friends ever like very similar to you guys. Yep. You know? Very, yeah. very similar, just six feet and handsome. We're just like <laughs> two oh, little man, two little so meatballs. <laughs> five, six Jones. <laughs> that yeah, is that's sick. So wait, wait, so I don't I know you're you this is your podcast, Please, but I have a few questions. So concepts. what is like what was it like growing up in Wyndham? I mean, I know it's not like a world's apart, but like a little different from Boston, I would assume. Oh, it's different. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just yeah. different. Yeah, 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 it's definitely uh, like, so I moved down here three, almost four years ago uh, to the North End. Mm-hmm. And just like moving down, I was like, this is like, like she falls asleep. Well, I'm sure like you guys do yeah. say to like, She'd be like, Alexa, Pass. play car crash uh, siren sounds, please. Like, the <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is because it's just like yeah. there's a lot happening, yeah, and yeah, like right, right. up at Wyndham, like it's it's not the sticks by any like stretch. Of the, it's like you're right, been to the right Rockingham Mall, okay, like the Tuscan yeah, up the there. Mall. If you're oh, at, we went to Tuscan. If oh you're, yeah, Tuscan. Yeah, yeah. If you're at, the, that's like our backyard basically. Oh really? So yeah, like it's we nice we, over there. we could ride our bikes like from our house to the Tuscan. Like we're right down the street from there. But it's funny how to your point on like. The comment section with your street cred, like, like the accent. We're we're no traffic. We're thirty five minutes away from like my door right. to my yeah, like. I think it's, it's a world house. I think it's a world apart. Don't but it's interesting. Home. Like, yeah, uh, hundred Bud Lights though. This shit. Yeah, 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 like you know what I mean? Yeah, that's gonna drive like you guys that. nuts <laughs> when the authentic Boston accents yeah. <laughs> then meet the guy who's yeah, 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 Bud yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just away. Yeah, I sound like the like I'm in the town or something like that. What? You even yeah, right there, kind of. Now I'm getting a little excited. A little excited. So what? What brought you guys to the city? though like 
Well, I mean, I started coming to the city before a little bit. He used I used to, bounce. to used to bounce in yeah. Southie. So like, I have an older brother. Long story short, he started bouncing in Southie at like a super young age. Same thing. Big dude, yeah, like yeah, huge. Yeah. That's what inspired full the tattoos. Neck tattoos exactly, <laughs> full of <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> tattoos. Exactly. You know what? Yes. Show them that you got one in your chest oh, that yeah, they might appreciate a lot. Obviously. It's kind of your like, you know. <laughs> Wow, wicked, huh? Yeah. yeah. W, you a wrestling fan, I assume? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. Huge wrestling fan. Yeah. Huge it. wrestling you, fan. I mean, you sound like he has the accent a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, now I'm getting right excited. Now. Let, me chill, let me chill out. Yeah, Here we well, go. You, he walks the town last night. This is just a prep for I this interview. I prepare for it. It's but yeah, no, we, uh, I started coming to Southie and then I would just tell Kev, like, dude, yep. you gotta, you gotta come check this place out. It is yeah. crazy. Say your they line. were looking for Say girlfriends, but uh, how that went out exactly? No luck. <laughs> Shantapios, huh, Ashley? Oh, <laughs> so good. Yeah, 100%. I brought Kevin, and it's so funny because like. He does like it, obviously. Pizza's but burnt. Hot take. I'll say right, it. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, but that's like what it's supposed to be. And he's like, no, no, like. Wyndham Hop or whatever you know, like you haven't been, oh, you no. haven't been to the East Boston one? I haven't been to the no. East Boston one. Oh, well, Wait, no. so you haven't had Santopio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, you took him to the other one? Peabody. That's where the that's oh. where the Damatos thrive in that that's, environment. Well, that's that's, that's they where do the whole family's there. That's you know? where we work. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you didn't have thing. the Santopio's experience. Right. You I had that Damato experience. Yeah, exactly. That was good. See. Kind of throw yeah. shade over here a little no, bit. No, no shade, no shade. There's yeah, my yeah, age dude. now. That that did a little, yeah. Gabagool Godfather looks yeah. like he just, <laughs> just crushed the, <laughs> the tomatoes over there. Yeah. You had a line from uh, the town, the mother one. Just, oh, why don't you say it, and then we'll it, go uh, around the room and just get the oh, best oh, Boston oh, accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, why didn't you ever look for her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Ben oh, Affleck. Oh. My mother. Yeah, that actually wasn't that bad. Oh, that was when that, I know exactly the scene. That was when he was visiting his father oh, yeah. in jail. Pretty Dude, damn. that's what happens every time Good. we go out and house a hundred Bud Lights. Everyone just is is communicating through the town. You know what's funny yeah, though is like it, when you're from the city, it's like, and I'm sure you can attest to this too. Different neighborhoods of the city have a, almost a slightly different accent. I feel yeah. like like Irish Bostonians yep. have a different accent. I feel like that's what's more in the town than like Italian yeah, Bostonians. Yeah. Yep. Would you you would agree with yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like so. I feel like the town. It's like. I don't know. Like they say like they say like cop or like yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I say yeah. cop like almost yep. like a cop you know what I yep. mean mm -hmm. little things like that but no that's yeah. funny I argue that point though all the time because when people say something I'm like I'm an Italian from Eastie yeah, yeah. like it's very different than being like Irish from Southie or um, can you say R ah Try I it? can I mean all right I could say R. Uh, uh, R R. No, just say it how like, you say it. Say it how you would A B C D F G H uh, Q R S T U V W X. Wait, what? I, just, I already skipped it. <laughs> A B C D. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Seven. A B. <laughs> wait, <laughs> let me let me count back. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S. Okay, so I, I mean, if I'm yeah, saying yeah, it naturally, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. R. But in business settings, like if I'm meeting with like, oh, I don't you know, even think you should hide it. You should go. Yeah, the but it's like you, I don't know. You know. I feel. I think. I think college fucked me up a little bit because when I, I was at UMass Boston up until like January. There you go. Yeah. Um. So when I was there, like, I mean, not a lot of people from the city. I mean, a lot of people from the city go there, but like, you'll meet a lot of people from outside the city so right. no one had the accent right, so like when right. I was speaking up in class I kind of felt like an idiot a little bit oh, like I would talking with it. the accent I don't know I yeah. was just like I remember my so I went to college in New Hampshire and my first and I was a genetics major so it was all like bios all this fun stuff so um, freshman year first semester I had a bio lab where you had to it, we were like doing the sense of something mm -hmm. with like ants and you had to use like a pencil a pen and a marker mm -hmm. So I'm presenting to the class, and I'm like, oh, like the maca was the most potent. And everyone's She's saying like, marker calling. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so reference. everyone was like, yeah. the what? And I was like, the maca. And they were like, we don't know what that is. And I was like, the shoppie. And they were like, what? <laughs> and I was like, all right, I don't belong up here. Like, no, I just want to go home. It's so <laughs> funny, yeah. That, I mean, that happened to me, too, especially with, like, groups of friends in college. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't even think twice about it, but then it's yeah. like they start – uh, they like everyone likes it though. I feel like I, I feel would like lean into no one's who, ever really shitting on yeah, it. Yeah, no, it was more that. It I was leaning to you. Yeah, it you was know? more. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, I think I it was ranked it. like sexiest accent. <laughs> yeah. at one point. You can go somewhere else, dude. <laughs> they goes out and pours it on. Yeah, people dude, love it. Oh, dude, yeah, I want to hear you. I got out of here and uh, right out of high school, I went to Florida and I went yeah. to Orlando. And there was one first night I went out, hundred Bud Lights deep, dude. I said something. I was like, I didn't even bring my car. And some one girl, one, it wasn't even that bad. And one girl was like. 
Oh my God, wait, say that again. And then <laughs> my dumb ass is like, what? What are you talking about? Ka, get out of here. I don't know what you're fucking <laughs> talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Colin <laughs> made a child that night. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Nice. Sex, I know. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Cool. That's really but great. Anyways, back to you guys. How how did you guys link up and start figuring out that, you know, this type of content is what you want to be making? Like, started, you, how did it how did it stem out like with the you TikToks started, and stuff? You started first. Yeah, yeah. So um how did I start? So I was it was during COVID. I was in college. It was uh, April 2020, I want to say. I downloaded it because mm -hmm. everyone was downloaded it at that right. time. Um, and then I was just scrolling for a few months on it. And then, I don't know, it never came to my mind that I wanted to make videos or do this as a job. Right. You know, it was kind of just like I saw videos and like I always thought about posting. But yep. like, I, I, I mean, obviously, like being from here, it's so tight knit with your friend group. It's like, no one does content. Yeah, right? yeah. So it was like, to go always, out on a limb, especially before like, TikTok, dude, yeah, like yeah. that was not normal to do social media around here. So I always was kind of facing that hurdle of like, you know, I didn't want to sound fucking sound like a pussy in front yeah, of my friends, yeah, yeah, like right, my yeah. friends to bust my balls, yeah. kind of stuff like that. But, um, I think it was September of 2020. I just, I posted a video actually talking about people who claim to be from the city that aren't from the city. Mm -hmm. So like, so like, so like, I mean, I, I'm from Easty, obviously if like, you know, I, but I've met so many kids in college. They're like, Oh, I'm from Boston. And I'm like, like oh, Uber. where are you from? It's like, yeah, Hanover yeah, or like yeah, Shrewsbury. Yeah. Yep. And like, that's that's fine. Like, I get it's easier, but it's oh, like, yeah. it's kind of like an inside joke with yeah, like yeah. people from the city. <laughs> so I posted that video, not a skit, nothing. I went to bed and I woke up with like 100,000 views. I'm like, you know, when you know, I mean, yep. when you don't, when you, when you don't do content and you see 100,000 eyeballs right. on you, yeah, it's yeah, like, it was an adrenaline rush, but yeah. it was also like, kind of like, I was sketched out by it a little bit. Yeah. So it took like a day or two off and I was like, you know what? I'm going to roll with this a little bit, lean into it and um, started posting and posting and then that's kind of how I started doing the skits, mm -hmm. like the Boston dad stuff. Yep. That's what really kind of yep. shot me up. The hockey stuff, like the you were talking stuff. about. Dude, that's that. You might have to do one right now. Oh, you can't put me on the spot oh. for that, dude. It is. <laughs> it is my favorite. Those hockey ones of like anyone that just goes and they talk about like the hockey chirps and shit like that. That for he me just like goes, dude. A couple of puck bunnies at hockey house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's probably been ran through. <laughs> a whole trip. Did you play team? hockey? Oh yeah. Oh, that was the sport. You played in Florida? Or? No, hell no. I was uh, I was done before yeah. that. He could have. He, he, he was really? on. So I mean, you're big as fuck, dude. A little bit of juniors you're and six, mostly high school. Four off yeah, skates. Dude. So you're five. So you're like yeah. six seven <laughs> on skates. But I'm five five. Don't, don't, don't five, you five, 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 five. That's crazy on skates. Yeah. That's fucking on skates, nuts. dude. Yeah, but that was a sport, dude. Yeah. And that's and it's literally spot on. That's why I saw when I saw your shit, dude. I was dying. Yeah, it's funny. Like I feel like I mean it was it was I know it was good. A lot of people liked it, but I feel like some of the hockey guys got offended by it. They're like, they're like, we don't we don't talk like this. And then like they do it right back to you. Five minutes later, they'll start talking exactly like it. That's pretty spot on. As he's going up to your buddy, we don't even fucking sound. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. My buddy uh, Tristan is always. I wake up every morning, dude. It's morning. It's like you guys, and he's always sending the shit over. He's like, check this out, check this oh, out. Oh, really? And he loves That's it. Funny. Dude. That's awesome. He's all when in. you're doing your skits, mm -hmm. what what's the pre planning look like? Like, are you physically writing that stuff out, or is it just yeah. like it really depends? It depends. I mean, sometimes like. For the most part, no. It's more like we just get together and we're like, let's film something, you know? Right. I mean, if I'm doing like a brand deal or something, that's completely different because yeah. I have to like send scripts over and stuff like that. But I think I work my best when we're just kind of like improv a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yep. Um, I mean, there is some planning that's involved, but I'm not like, you know, writing scripts up on my laptop. You yep. know, it's more right. just like in my notes, if anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I really took, I mean, I did that a lot more when I did content on my own because when we're with each other, we can just film each other, kind of bounce ideas off each yep. other. But when I did the Boston dad stuff that really blew my stuff up, I was playing like four characters by myself in one video. So yeah, like yeah. on my notes, I'd be like behind the be CVS and Easty the... with a <laughs> tripod with like four outfits in my car. Like my parents are looking at me like, where the fuck are you going with you're the tripod? Caught. You're and for, caught uh, I mean, I've had CVS. some people come by, like not in trouble or anything, but like people yeah. have seen me back there. Yeah. Keep you open the hood of your car. Yeah, the cops even, pull up. You guys do those ones in like the grocery stores and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we did the one in so uh, where was it? Market Basket yeah. recently. Yeah, that one was improv off the top of it. Yeah, we were just yeah. like, let's film some. Like, yeah. yeah, and then there was like the sauce and the sauce and gravy one we yeah. did because like that's an Italian thing. Yeah, gravy. Gravy. Well, right? okay, but oh, legitimately, like, if there's meat in it, it's gravy. Yeah. If red sauce is nothing, but why would your mother ever make a sauce? It's always a gravy. Listen, what I'm saying I'm 11 percent Italian. Go to like Zeno, so Italians. But if you go out to eat, it's, it's a red it's sauce. sauce. It's not. There's it's, no like there's no, meat and stuff in it. Meat. Yeah, gravy but is my brown. mother makes a gravy. Right. I'm a little confused with this. Yeah, you. Yeah, let's. What's your? What's I definitely your... grew up the same thing, but my like 
Italian side, it's like you guys ain't even Italian. Like we just grew up in East Boston. You know what I mean? Like no one's like off the boat. You're Italian side. Oh, okay. What are so you saying like, to me? I was like, listen. What no, no, do no, 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 you I know Italian Italians call sauce, sauce, or sauce, gravy? sauce, sauce. sauce. And then East Boston was like, fuck it, we'll just call fuck it gravy. It, right. yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that. That's I mean, why I call it sauce. I know Jersey call it sauce. calls it sauce. Right yeah, all yeah, my yeah, friends okay. in Jersey get upset. So I think it's like a New York, yeah. Boston thing. Yeah, we're we're cool with the grown up Italian guy. They're, oh, from, they're out of New York, buddy. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, to continue on my previous point. So I did the hockey stuff that kind of blew me up because I played hockey my whole life. I played a year at UMass really? Boston, actually. Here we and go. So I got all the college hockey guys, bro. Yeah, they're Let's literally go. like playing in East, at East Boston High. It wasn't as bad because all my friends are from the city. So they didn't really talk like that. Yep. But when you get to the next level of like college, it's oh, like yeah. these kids are from Canada, California, yeah, totally. Florida. So they yep. all have the lingo down mm-hmm. pat. So that's kind of where I got the inspo for that. And then just kind of kept hammering that. And then within a year, I had like over a million followers, yep, which was yep. dope. Um, but he came in the mix a little earlier than that. So you can kind of speak. Yeah. When did, when did you start? How you started. And yeah. what was your walk us through like your journey of, of being on social? All right, so I came back from the army. This is when I literally came back from the army like two weeks. I seen his videos. I was like, damn, like I can do this shit too. So I yep, hit him yep. up. So we grew up together. So he's like, yeah, for sure. We'll hop in because he was doing them alone. So a couple go by, a couple million views, like yep. doing good. I'm like, all right. And just ra- randomly, like COVID, it was during COVID. I went out to dinner with my buddy, and um, there was plexiglass up because of COVID. And now uh, there was like four girls, so I'm like, all right, like, try to spit some game or something. <laughs> so they got dessert, so I was just like, easy right away. I was like, oh, like what you like? I literally stood up and like leaned over the plexiglass, like, oh, yeah. what you guys get? And um, just shooting the shit with this one girl. She invited us over, so we sat down, and I got her number. And I'm just shooting shit because I know I can cook. Yeah. And uh, I just moved into my uh, apartment at the time. So, oh, I love to cook for you. She's like, all right, cool. Easiest pick up line. I was going to say, my move easiest. with plexiglass would have been to oh, right. fog it up and yeah. draw a heart. I love <laughs> you. I love you. Pick up a girl with the plexiglass. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Hand on the thing. <laughs> yeah, just leaned right over. And uh, totally yeah. I went to Florida like literally the next day, came back. She's like, all right, if you don't cook for me, like I'm not an entertainer. She's older. She's also 28, Ashley. Ooh, <laughs> older, so he older. says. Yeah. 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 So I'm 1994, did you know Paul Revere or how did that work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we're sorry, also, I set you up. I set you up. We're also 99, so yeah, we're not, like, yeah. We're young. We're not young. there. So I was 22. Yeah, she was 27 at the time. And um, she came over, cooked, and she was an influencer. She was she was like, you should make a page. But meanwhile, I was in the army and the post office at yep. the same time. So I'm like, I don't really have time. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. your thing. And um, so do we actually came out, gave her the name. She's like, oh, hell yeah. So we filmed content literally for a month, 30 days. And then you and her. Yeah, she kind of like fans? she showed. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I it almost came about, actually. It well, might come about. Yeah. Don't take it off. Don't leave it off the table Salami yet. Salami daddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, s- kind of small. <laughs> Stop it. Um, so, yeah, we. What was I going? You were filming you content together. Content. We banked yeah. up the content. Yeah. And um, she was so like, all right. So together. You mean she was. Helping she was helping. helping she was showing me. She up. literally yeah. showed yeah. me yeah. intro. She was like, download intro. Okay. Yeah. Show yeah. You. And meanwhile, she showed me. I'm like, I don't know how to fucking and do this. And what was the content like? C- cooking. Just cooking. Just okay, cooking. Yep. Just cooking. Just a trend in sound and yep. um so at the time the algorithm was a trend in sound and posting off the feed so two videos a day off the feed off yep. the feed and then one just one of them was just me trying food wasn't yeah. even like describing how to cook and it just hit um half I'm a million, million half a million views like 30k likes yep dude so there's a point where just that one video is bringing in 2k follows a day let's go literally yeah. just yep. bringing them in i remember that moment that was a cool moment to see like yeah. him like cuz he was video it was like oh man 2000 followers overnight and then it was like a week later, it was like twenty k. Yeah, yeah. I literally went to yes. Santapio's, then the one in Peabody, the fake yeah. one, the fake one. Oh, same owner, same time. Well. Uh, no, it's not that, the fake. It's not the clip that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Started, started I had to throw it in. More. But <laughs> we get back. I finally hit ten k and uh, pop a bottle of champagne. Blew it all over my phone. Ruined the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, all that, all the original content gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just yeah. had to start again. But yeah, it's been. So, it hasn't like picked up as that. But because it was the a- algorithm, I feel like you know what I could see. Feet. I was thinking this on the drive over here. For you, I feel like you could do potentially what Mr. Beast has done and open up like the Beast Burger. Okay, like well, a restaurant. Like I'm. Th- so I think like the next. I really think the next decade creators will have. You see it with like Logan Paul's got Prime. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dobrik's got his own. I think it's a. Oh no, it's, it's, it's like a. Dobrik's. It might be a. a pizza I think it's a. Yeah, Dobrik's. Yeah, it might like be a brick oven pizza, pizza. place. Yeah. 
Uh, Mr. Good. Beast got his like uh, Mr. Beast burger, and then like the, I think they're called like Feastables, like the candy. Well, dude, look at like bars nowadays. The only like trendy bars to go to now is like where you can play games. Yes, and shit. exactly. It's like everything's Burrito. everything's going yeah. in a new direction. So like, yeah, but I, I think, can see you doing something like that. Like, oh, the name too. Like, yeah, you kidding me? The exactly. name, even like so, a deli or something. You know. <laughs> so when I first started getting followers, I was like, all right, like I don't. Cause my uncle has a restaurant I worked in in Tampa for a bit. Um, it's just a lot of work. Like it's tough. Like if you yeah, want it to be done right, you, you need to work there like all day. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's like I don't want to do that. I'd rather just cook for like a group. And um, obviously I love sports. Like yeah. big Patriots fan, so I like just started hitting up players, and they yep. answered. Literally, when someone answered, I was like, "Let's Damn. go." So I cooked for Damian Harris the first time, and uh, it was lit. Just fed six. Yeah. Made a, Did made you, a, you went to his spot? His spot. Yeah. <sighs> Is frontward facing like is that where you're looking to get into next? Almost like a celebrity oh, chef. That's what I would want to do, but I don't, I'm just fucking winging it. Yeah, so, yeah. Wait, here we are. You're on Hell's Kitchen. What, Gordon Ramsay asks your signature dish. You got to run in. What are we? What are we making oh, on the spot? Right question. Oh, just, signature yeah, dude, dish. Actually, go, um, what Master is this? Master Chef actually just emailed me to apply. Oh, really? So, oh, then there you go. That's but sick. meanwhile, so what's like, the signature? What are you coming in with? Make, that, all I know how to make is like chicken, broccoli, and ziti. Oh, so you like, know uh, as long as it's I on feel point. Like that's a lie. I, you're selling yourself short. I've been no, seeing no, for the. Sure, for sure. I'm I feel just, like I'm you did, yeah, You yeah. made tacos uh, one post, and I think I watched it like 10 times. <laughs> I don't know why it looked. Because <laughs> tacos are so easy, but so hard to be genuinely Fire, good. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shrimp so. It's tough. Yes. It's tough. Yeah, well, we cook, I cook for Millie's. I cook shrimp scampi. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. Um, it's open up a lot of avenues. I mean, I think, honestly, personally, I think it could be dope for you to kind of like, well, do, do the content thing, like get your brand deals. We launch this cooking show. Hopefully that goes well. And then down the line, when you have money to put into something like that, yeah. that's that would be dope. Yeah. I think. I can see you doing that for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. If I did do even do like a taco truck, it would still do good here. Even I yeah, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I have so much day. more potential yeah. than just the taco truck. I feel like honest. East Boston just has everyone knows everyone. If you were to yeah, yeah, do a, a truck anywhere, you know, East it's, Boston. It's crazy to up. see Easty like the way. I mean, like I mean, I feel like our generation was at least the last of like the tight knit kind of community. Yeah. Now yeah. it's just like all. The yuppies, we'll yes, call them. Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, the yuppies coming in yep. and like, you know, I live in a triple decker, which is like the three story. Yes, I don't know if you're you familiar know, with that language. I live in a triple decker. The triple decker. <laughs> Google, Google, Google images. <laughs> Taking like an yeah. upper decker. Like yeah. the way upper, shooting shooting the top of that. Someone's little upper, upper deckies. <laughs> three times. <laughs> we live in the triple decker in Eastie and like we, my grandmother bought that and 65 when my dad was born yep. for thirty thousand dollars wow now I mean, she's gotten office for it up to like 1.5 1. 1.6 oh, yeah. mil oh, I bet. and it's yeah. an old ass house right, there's no right, renovations right. to it but then you'll see ones get put up next to us that yep. are like brand fucking new who knows yeah. how much those Dude, are i was so when we her and i first started dating i've now I, I only went to these spots for the airport right of course yeah we i think it was our like fifth or sixth date I stay over the night at her place mm. and in the morning I wake up and I go out like her side door. Right. You're on the tarmac of Logan. Like <laughs> pretty like much. Yeah. Room is literally like TSA pre-check. Yeah, like, dude. When it was unbelievable. Flying over the house yeah, and shit. I was yeah. like, where the fuck Did you take I? him to the, the Madonna, the, uh, the, no, the view up there? No, because a better view than Madonna. Does it? Yeah. Cause are, I'm you, on, are you higher than that? No, on the street below. Oh, but are you? <laughs> Chad's been over. No, I'm just kidding. Hello. Wait a second. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's the same view as yeah, the Madonna. Right. But um, dope spot though. Yeah. I know her hot take on this. What are you seeing with East Boston changing? Like, like I think you you kind of lured into it with like you're the last generation of like the tight knit community. What what do I see changing? You're like, or? what are you seeing East Boston turning into? Dogs. Oh my god, like joggers, <laughs> people who like run with their dog, like why? Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. I definitely think Eastie's gonna turn into the new Southie, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like in terms of like, you know, college kids, yep. that kind of vibe. Um, Dude, jo uh, Dorchester is getting there too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot too. of like yeah. nicer places going up, people want to yep. go to Lucy's and stuff like that. It's like yeah. in, in the middle of dot. Yeah. Yeah. No, Eastie's great though. Like, I mean, honestly, it sucks to see things change, but honestly, it's nice to see nicer things going on. Yeah, right, to, right. To be honest, I mean, that's at least how I feel. Um, but, like, it definitely has a different feel to it than, you know, say when I was nine, ten years yeah, old growing yep. up, if that makes sense. 100%. But, uh, yeah, in terms of change, dude, I think it's just more like, 
just yuppies coming in, yeah, yeah. taking all of our yeah. shit. Yeah. But yeah. they do have some cool stuff like Tall Ship. I love Tall Ship. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. keep making yeah. stuff like that, and yeah, I'll, I'll be yeah. I'll be cool with I it. I used to like. I think around your age, I really loved that stuff too. And I remember like all the older people were getting so upset about it. I'm like, oh, why? Like, there's nice new restaurants mm-hmm. for me to go to, and you know, like Tall Ship. Well, Tall Ships wasn't there. Yeah, I'm yeah, old, yeah. but. Um, you know, 94. I know we pointed that out. <laughs> That's but, um, crazy. But now that I like moved out, mm-hmm. like <laughs> across the pond, literally, yeah, yeah. it doesn't feel like home anymore to me. Mm-hmm. Like it's East Boston's not my home, mm-hmm. and it's like really sad. Yeah. Um, and like to your point, like my aunt bought the house I think in the '40s for like yeah. 8k, yeah. probably. Yeah. Same thing. People are constantly bugging us. Um, it's well over a million. It's crooked. The doors don't shut. Like, course, why yeah. is it like this? But it's sad, like my parents can't even afford that house anymore. No. You know what I mean? So it's just not yeah. home anymore and yeah. it's sad, but it's cool. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's kind of the same thing with my house too. Like my yeah. grandmother bought it. Um, she's doing well right now, you know, knock on wood. But when she eventually passes away, like we don't know what's gonna happen because she, we owe a lot of money to the bank for her. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Trust me, I know. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, tough. You, yeah. You, know, you know how it goes, but we'll see. I mean, maybe yeah. hopefully in, you know, a few years, maybe I'll have enough money to put down yeah, on it. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll yeah, see where this content stuff goes. Yep. But yeah. Yeah. Speaking of that, where are you looking to go with content? Like almost same question to yeah. Salami Daddy. Like where? Salami. <laughs> front, frontward facing. Where do you? What do you? What do you yeah. see this building? Yeah, man. I mean, kind of. It's crazy because, like, in this space, especially since it's so new, and you know, you can attest to this too. It's like you can't really pinpoint at least like a, a, a very strict five year plan in, in that sense because percent. you can have ideas of where you want to go, but the, the moon really is like the, or the sky's the limit. Yep. Um, so, I mean, yeah. honestly, we're, we're in the work, we're in the works for some like, I have a, I'm building up a talent agency right now, actually, yep. based what you know about. Yep. We yep. spoke briefly about that. The agency, we're working on the cooking show. Um, hopefully that brings in a new avenue of yep. like, you know, talk show kind of thing. Yeah, right. I love doing content. I mean, I think it'd be dope one day down the line to like write a movie or something. Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. That's kind of like a long term thing. Yep. I'm not really focused on that now. And then um, just keep expanding and building the network. Yeah. Like I would love to work with big sports teams here and you know, I want to stay here for a while. Like I'm not, I'm not in a rush to like go to LA yep. or do anything like that. Maybe it'd be cool to travel and stuff. But as of right now, like I'm just focused on the tasks at hand, making connections yeah, yep. here yep. and, um, you know, just trying to expand as much as possible in new England yep. and then try to focus on going, going national from there. Yeah. I, I feel like, uh, in Boston, there's only a handful of people that are in the same space in that mm-hmm. creator space. Mm-hmm. So I know for brands, like even just her and I talking to so valuable, dude. So, so valuable. Uh, we're talking to people over at uh, Gillette, and they're like, "There is literally like six people, right?" Even yeah. consider to <laughs> right. Do deals with. Whereas you go to L.A., there's right. six yeah. people every yeah. every you can freaking driveway. Choose you know to be a mean? big fish in a small pond yeah, or a small exactly. fish in a big pond. You yeah. know. So, so I think the the reach you have here is like. Yeah, said, I, th- like I think the, Bo- the I think the Boston market is so valuable, and that's another reason why I want to stay. And yeah, with the connections we've already made, it's like you know, there's only, and I'm sure you know now, there's only like a a real handful of people who really run the city. Yeah, so like 100%. when you know they're when you know the right people, it's yeah, like it's you, you'll community. be you'll be all set here. So yeah. Uh, but I don't know. What, what do you think you're going with your your cooking journey or your career? Is the did you say cooking show? And then is the is the podcast separate for that, or is that part it's of the, all, the it's same show? Like a, it's not like a full cooking show. Like there's definitely cooking in it. Yeah. That's kind of where he comes in. That's mm-hmm. sick. But it's more of like a, it's going to be Instagram, TikTok focused as well as on YouTube. Yep. Probably like, I don't know. What do you think? Like 20, maybe oh, the full episode will be like almost 20. an hour. But yep. on Instagram, we'll post like the 20 minute short yeah, version of right, it right. kind of thing. And then yep. clip things for TikTok like and Instagram reels. But it's going to be like a, a segmented show. So like, you know, we'll open up with him cooking. We'll do like a some sort of segment with the food with yep. the guests, whoever we have on. Yeah, and it's gonna be a pretty like we're we're trying to get some big people on there. Like, yeah, hell yeah. We had the BMA man guy on. Nice. Um, some of the UFC guys around here. Yep. We had like that group, the New England Cartel on. Um, we had Rashidi Ellis, who's a boxer from around here on. And this kid Mosa, who's a rapper yep. coming up. But like, like I said, we're connected with Millie's. Um, we do a lot of work with like Devonte Parker's team on the Patriots. We're nice. trying to get him on. Yep. Um, but yeah, man, just trying to make it like a. Almost like a celebrity show. Where yeah. Like come on and do funny shit, shit with yep. us. C- comedy and cooking together. Dude, it's the tough f- though. It's tough because you yeah. don't know what you're getting. Yeah. Like you can get right. someone that's just like, nah. It's like, yeah. The vibe's off. Like, yeah. It definitely yeah, yeah. needs to be there. Definitely going to ease people into it. Like, podcast is easy because, like, you can just have them on and, like, 
right, shoot inter- the shit. almost interview them, shoot the shit. Exactly. Like, when you're trying to get people to like, you know, do skit stuff with yeah, you. Yeah, it right. gets a little. Uh, kind of push the limits a little bit, yeah. especially with these athletes. It's like, you don't know yeah. what they're comfortable with. So yep. it's almost like reading the rim. We'll see how much flexibility we can get. Yeah, right, right. We're just going to roll with it, to be yeah. honest. But even on the route you guys are already taking, man, it's almost like you keep doing what you're doing, man. That shit's just going to start flooding in out of nowhere. Yeah. It seems like that's, that's, that's how trying, it starts. Everything. That's what we're trying to do. Like you look at a show at like, uh, like Hot Ones. Yep. I love that show. That's kind of what we got like yeah, the original yeah. inspiration. That and then the shop, yep. which is like LeBron's yep. show. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, so that was like kind of those two together we were thinking of, and now it's like kind of transformed. We're trying to still find the identity of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Kind Jeez, of there's so like much that. in there with cooking oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, well, food. We just like, we don't know what to do with the cooking though. Yeah, like, like the food. That's what kind of what we're trying to figure out. Like a good segment we can open up with with the food. Yep. That people are going to look forward to watching. Right. So that's kind right. of what we're trying to figure out right now. But we got like a list of 20, 20 Don't stress. we can do. I love watching food. I think <laughs> you <laughs> could do nothing, no yeah. words. Sell itself. Yeah, the food could Just sell food. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Simple oh, yeah. yet delicious plates yeah. that guys like me could right. take a girl home and make her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my so God, that yeah. way I could be able to tell girls that it's I can cook too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I like, think authenticity is what like will sell. Your story about like like finding love through food, <laughs> yeah. like that in itself could be a segment. You know yeah, what I mean? Is true. Like is like true. uh like whether it's called like cooking up love or like yeah. or like yeah. steamy desserts. Chefing up. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> there's ever, so ever, much with food desserts. that can happen. You know? <laughs> no, you're right, dude. Yeah. They they love it. You ever see that meme where it's like it's like the Hulk and then another superhero and it's like it's like guy with muscles, guy with tattoos yeah, and they're yeah. Hulk and then a dinosaur and it's like guy who can cook and yeah, then yeah, 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 just yeah, fly yeah. like there's so much him. there. I, I told him he got to release a, a cooking book. Like a cookbook. That's yeah. that's in the works right now. I got a cookbook with um this company that messaged me. Which company was it? I don't know, but they do cookbooks for like Instagram yep. fucking yeah. chefs, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Your merch too. I think I'm, I'm more more. Good merch. Yep. Yeah. I did a little merch drop. It did well, but I think I would want to switch up, switch it up a little bit. Yep. Uh, it was kind of like a test run kind of yeah. thing. It went good. Not as good as I expected, but like, you know. Crew necks. Crew necks are the biggest yeah, thing in the world. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the biggest. 100%. Thing. Yeah. She I mean, turned me on to that. And that's where like obsessed with crew the power of, uh, Having someone in your corner like that knows yeah. fashion. Like for me, I'm like I wear the same black shirt, <laughs> white jeans every day. Let's fucking go. Dude. But she turned me on to that same thing. She was like, "You gotta release crew necks." Yeah, he was saying that because you had all hoodies and yeah. you said something. I don't know what it, I don't know if they were <laughs> the going or what it was. Ho- hoodies are great, they are, but yeah. like cr- oversized crew necks are just what's in right now. Um, bad beautiful yeah, bitches really in uh, yeah. crew neck. <laughs> <laughs> like the hocus pocus and focus crew neck. Yeah. Damn, that yeah, that, that's that's easy. Yeah, yeah. that's, a, that's yeah. genius. Yeah. yeah. Well, you seem to be killing it with Dangerous and Cafe. How's yeah, for sure. Dude, it's been fun. It's awesome. been fun. We're uh, we're trying to get it an espresso pod to so, like extend oh, the product that's line. Sick. Damn. That's and then sick. one thing we're really trying to push and and uh, shout out to Charles because he's like running this this division uh, <laughs> to do canned espresso martinis. That's, that's money. That's money. So hopefully that that's that's like that extending the sick. product line even more, which would be wild. Bro, anytime I go out, I have to get an espresso martini at the end of the night. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. Is that a... Uh, Do they even have canned espresso martini? Is that a, even a thing? They're, they are a thing. One company yes. I saw just came out with it. Oh my God. The market's wide open. Um, right. yeah. uh, and shout out to Cisco too. Cisco Brewery just launched one as well. They got oh, a, wow. oh, I think that was the company. I was yes. Talking yeah. About, yeah. So. Shit, yep. Which is part of Charles's network. Right, so there's, right. uh, that's what I mean. Dude, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. Done. A full tangled web. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. Like you know the right people here. Like everyone knows each other. Yeah, in some yeah, way, shape, or form, someone knows someone that knows someone. Yep. But well, let me bounce it back on you. Like, what's what's your kind of? Where do you see all this going for uh, you? I know you got a bunch married. of shit going Sorry. on as well. I know what's going on with that. I see a lot of content about this <laughs> uh, is, engagement there's stuff. A, there's a diamond shortage. I don't know if you <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's pretty uh, scarce. Yeah, uh, so. short on the cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just the world. Dude. No, dude, my uh, I've been with my girl for almost a year and a half now. I'm 23, and she like busts my balls yep. all the time about oh, it. And I'm like, uh, I'm in. Wait, you got a girl yeah. too? She, no. No. God, no. God, no. God, no. No, he actually just oh, broke up with his girl. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. New girlfriend. I was just going to say. Yeah, like, actually, go. No, no, he just broke up with his girl. Oh, I thought you said new girlfriend. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, he actually wow. just, he actually <laughs> just brought up. Uh, breaking up? Yeah. You just brought up a touchy subject. Oh. oh. No, you didn't. If you Ooh. Get Single's always fun. He's jumping for joy right now. Let's dive into it. He's having a great fucking time. I don't know why that's called. It's, no, it's steamy pretty good. Desserts yeah. Yeah. Steamy desserts. Yeah. Steamy desserts. We're having fun, though. I mean, you can't complain. We get, yeah. We're going to, like, the best the best clubs here, and it's, like, yeah, it's 23. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, 23 yeah. when you have, like, a following. 
Yeah. 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 No, but yeah. I see, so like I broke up with my long term boyfriend at 21, and from 23 to 25 is the best years because you're building like, I feel like there's the most most growth there. And if I wasn't yeah. single, I wouldn't have been able to do it. You yeah. need to find like what makes you happy, what makes you feel content. Yes, yeah. And like, there's nothing wrong with being in a relationship. I obviously love it now. But if I was in a if I met Kevin at 23, like we would not be as stable 100%. as we are now. Timing's everything. We just wouldn't yeah. be. Timing is everything. It's, it's so, funny when you get to like, and and we're not old by any means, but like 27. You literally just made fun of me 10 times of being. Well, you're 28. <laughs> well, that yeah. is. That's a big difference. 28 <laughs> is like, like, honey, That is wow. I kind of want to know there's, how you guys. I think I'm going to ask you how you guys met. Uh, but I, I mean, you guys kind of get like a. I don't want to say contrasting personalities, but yes. it's like definitely different, you know. Yes. So it's honestly yeah. how this relationship works. Like, yeah. like uh, I'm so, uh, like I'm, uh, oh, I'll wake up careful. in the morning. It drives mm -hmm. her nuts because I'm like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna create yeah. this. <laughs> and she's like, can't we just you read know, a book? Yeah, <laughs> like I can't sit still. Like Brush I, my teeth. I, <laughs> like I physically can't sit still. Yeah. And uh, where she's very calculated, like. Yeah. So gotcha. you need that. You need a part. Whereas we, if we were both like gung ho, like yeah. firing. Oh, any wait, so you're like, like OCD and you're like a little ADHD. I'm <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. 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 Oh, so that's what yeah. drove me out of. Well, yeah. yeah You'll find shit. your right partner though. We went, so being 27, like I can give you some like amazing. We have a yeah, whole I need it. episode. I need it. That's like just relationship advice. Awesome. I need like it. at 23, dude, when I was 23, I legitimately thought I was little Wayne. You know what I mean? Same. <laughs> yeah. same. You, you have like he an identity. I think I'm Jack Hollow. Yeah, so it's all, it's all good. I'm telling you, at 23, you have an identity crisis up until probably about 25. So what happens if you had your social media at 23? How that would have been even worse, though. No. Uh, I think it would have def. Well, the problem at 23 is you gotta you have an ego to control. Yeah. That's the big thing I see with creators now. Yeah. So creators will get a little bit of a following For and sure. now think they're Gis Giselle and Tom Brady. Yeah. Whereas at 27, and you start to up. dial back, leaning into. That's what I was saying to you earlier. Like lean into your accent. Lean into who you really are. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, of course. I'm a I'm a Irish kid from New Hampshire. That's that's damn near illiterate. All right. I, mean, and that, I used to run away from that. Now I lean full in. You know yeah, I mean? of course. Because that authenticity to. is just what's going to open so many doors for who you really are, and, and that'll uh, and then finding to your point, like like everyone's got that yin and yang. It's gonna. I had. She's had it. I've had it. We've had crazy exes where that were opposite, just yeah. like her and I are. We had exes that are the same. You'll find that person that's like, oh, done. Like you'll know, you know. Yeah, no, I think um, it, I think it is. It is kind of like a, like, almost like a reality check when like you see the people around you, kind of in the same mindset of like. I mean, I don't want to stop calling people out on the air, but <laughs> when we're, we're from Eastie, so like a lot of our friend group is kind of like just content with staying there, doing yep. the same thing, working the same jobs, which is fine. Like, I don't want to shit on people that right, work right, blue right, collar right, jobs. Right. Like yeah, my, my whole family's blue collar. Yeah, yeah, I almost yeah. went blue collar yeah, before yeah. social media. But with that being said, like they will never leave the city. They'll never be able to see 100%. what is more. And I, I feel it sucks because I want to give that to them. But it's like it, when you get when you get to the point where you realize like, wow, I can actually make it out of here and see bigger things. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's such a relieving feeling. 100%. And like, like to your point, like just being yourself is something that I've been so lucky to do and it's yeah. my job. So yep. yeah, it's definitely uh, a lot of exciting things in the works, but it's, it's, it sucks to see people that like you love and care for that totally. you know, don't see it the same way you do. You know, well, that's when, yeah. that's when the good stuff comes is when you surround yourself with like-minded right, people, yeah. dude, when you guys are on the same page and everything yeah. comes like that, we have conversations on the phone. Yeah. We had them in high school. We yeah, would yeah. say the same thing to each other. We'd be like, dude, I don't care. Like I'll do it for the mm -hmm. time being, but my life is not going to be some regular ass job yeah, yeah. working some regular ass shit doing that like I mean, something's yeah, got to give and yeah. then when you surround yourself with people who think that yeah. same way dude then stuff yeah. just starts manifesting itself yeah i feel like we me and you got on the same page with that kind of like the past year i would say yeah. like when you started doing social with me because like i said it's not really i mean now it's a little more common but at least when we both sided like no one was doing it in the city yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so like when we did it together it was kind of like oh we're in this thing together almost. yeah like, yeah right break through the negative shit and get to the positive so east boston's interesting because it's i was saying it when her and i first met like it's such a tight-knit community of course yeah. to, to swim upstream and mm -hmm. go the other direction and be like oh, i'm gonna move out of here and, and not go yeah. blue collar and you know it's, it's so uh, weird dude because everyone like, hates each other i feel, I feel like so I, easy? <laughs> not just easty but like i think boston i wouldn't say everyone hates each other but I would say that it's a tough place to kind of like change people's minds yeah. in a way of like, Hey, I'm going to be a content creator. Like, you know, take me for how I am where like, I feel like a lot of people want to see me win, but a, a lot of people do want to see me fit that mold, of fit that mold. 100%. You know what I mean? So now that I'm trying to change yep. that mold, being a young kid from the city, it's like, 
a lot of people accept it, but a lot of people kind of reject it too. So yeah. do you hear it at all? Like, uh, I mean, head, like, you, how do you handle that? In the beginning, not well. Like, I almost stopped when I f was like probably two, three months in, yeah. just because I was I probably shot up from like zero followers to like a hundred k in a month. Yeah, yeah, in a month because I no one else was doing the Boston yep. shit when I was doing it, so blew up in that niche and like you know it was more from like kids that I thought were close friends of mine that I then saw true colors kind yep. of thing. Which stings um, the most. Stings the most, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you just realize and like you're in your own head, like am, am I doing the right yep. thing? Should I go back to what I was doing? Yep. Right. And then um, luckily I just, I kept moving forward on it. And then once I really like started to blow up, like that's when those same people came around again. And yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, let me, yeah, let me yeah, help yeah, you yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do this oh, for yeah. you. So. Yeah, I don't want to. I love Boston. I think Boston supports their own like very well, but yeah. I think there's almost like a there's almost like a wall you have to break to get there. totally. You know what I mean? Is there a spot outside of Boston you could see yourself moving to, or are you just home base Boston for? I definitely want to get a house in the suburbs eventually. Like yeah. I definitely want to stay in Massachusetts. Yep. For my family and stuff like right, that. Right, my right. girlfriend's on the same page. You know. If we are together, sorry, Marissa. Oh, if we are together, no. <laughs> and we're back with and we're back. dessert <laughs> with salami daddy. If we're even no, still but, together, yeah. no. You're, but, you're, this is like her dream right there too. If it really? was like oh her right now, we'd be out of the city tonight. Yeah. Dude, so I'm like, I just want a backyard. Like, I want a quiet yeah. with the backyard. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know a if pool. it's like. Same to you guys. So for me, like my first boyfriend was from the North End. My second boyfriend mm. was from Southie. Hmm. Yeah. Colin. <laughs> That's uh, you got a boyfriend you before know that you and I talk like this openly. So yeah. for Colin, like for a single man, he's like, yeah. your boyfriend. Kevin's You're like, your best flag, red flag. I love. We went out to dinner. Uh, her ex was our waiter. Really? Didn't know until he got to the table. He looks at her, looks at me, and then on accident, Spills a pitcher of water on me. I left, see, that's that I left, me right out of the gate. Um, we're going. No, we're <laughs> going at it. Control. Dude. I'm telling you, I literally go to Ashley. Go. He's fucking awesome. I'm like, you're so I dapped true. him up. I got his number. I was like, dude, we should chill. I look at Ashley like, so I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> no, Wait, I'm gonna kill him. Guys, Good dude. Back to you. She was yeah. making a point. Yeah, she was I making a point. Yes. My point about that was about ex boyfriends. Yes. My point though was that <laughs> I grew up always dating the people who grew up with the same lifestyle as me. Yeah. Triple deckers, the kid in the North End didn't even have a house. They lived in an apartment complex. Mm -hmm. It was stunning, but like no one had a house. Yeah. So that's what I thought life was. So when I started dating him and I saw a driveway and a garage mm -hmm. and a pool, and it actually cost less money than our houses in Boston. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh wait, why am I, so why cheap. why do I want a crooked house that the doors don't shut? Like, right. and nothing Drink. wrong with that whatsoever. But you just <laughs> see <laughs> that like, you don't really realize that there's more out there yeah. and you don't have to lose your identity and do that. You know I what I mean? You. So no, that's yeah, why like I, I want you. it so much now. Like my kids can like, like I used to be able to only ride my bike from telephone pole to telephone pole. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, you get killed by a fucking car or something. <laughs> oh, well, like if a car came, you had to hide behind another of car. Course, I'm like, yeah. oh, you. And Kevin was allowed to like go out by himself yeah. in the we woods. We would take I'm bikes like, from Kevin our place shoot, to. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's shooting fucking reindeers. Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> <we're doing it>. <laughs> 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 So catching just, catching like, squirrels really in the tracks. <laughs> no, I feel that no. though, because my, my yeah. girlfriend's from Hingham, so it's like almost the same thing. She lives yeah. Hingham's like about probably like thirty minutes. Did she tell of you Boston. she was in Boston when you first met? No, no, she okay, was never good, like good. that. Good and she was never good like question. on the clout train, which was nice. Like yeah. she definitely saw me on TikTok, but I reached out to her and like uh -huh. I kind of uh, made my the next first question, move. So on that's it. that's how it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> What'd you say? You could say it. Just call my girlfriend a whore. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. No, no, man, no. whore. Steamy desserts. <laughs> and, uh, back to salami, There's Poppy. A whole segment now. <laughs> so what? You slid in the DMs. Uh, yeah. So I broke up with my ex, and Oof. then you know I was on the prowl after that. Yep. You know, just right. like any guy. Yep. It is what it is. Like a dog. And um, <laughs> so we're calling no, the liquor trial. Yeah. We got closer. Yeah, we when we got closer. Still on the prowl. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. We started doing videos as soon as you broke up with your ex. Yeah, it was like. I don't know. Yeah, was she holding you back. She was a little bit. Uh, that mold. Mm, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so when we broke up, like opened up more, like time, obviously. Yep. Um, so we did more videos together, but bank accounts just skyrocketed. Yeah, at that point. unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. And then we started doing stuff together, and you know, you know how it is. Like you shoot girls DMs, like yeah, hey, yeah. like you know, grab don't a drink. Don't say you sometime. know how that is. Right. I don't uh, mean, back in the day, you, you know, you know how that is. I know exactly how that is. Never shot up. Daryl, a girl. I would never do that. And we're back to steamy desserts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, so I shot her. I shot her a DM, and um, she actually left me on open uh, in February. See, that's my problem. She left that's me on what scene. I myself, uh, and you um, I think yes. I just, I think I just said like we should grab a drink sometime. Yeah, so we yeah. had mutual friends at UMass Boston. I was yep. still, at, I was still at UMB at this time, and um, she left me on scene. 
And then it was weird, like two, three months later, I was like, I'll take it on the chin, like whatever yeah, it happens. Yeah. Two, three months later, um, I got a call from uh, one of my my friends that's in her friend group and they needed a ride home from the bar and she was like, oh, Marissa's here. She wants to see you. And I was like, who? I was like, who, who are you talking about? Yeah. So she was like, oh, Marissa Rubino. That's that's her. And I was like, oh, uh, no, nah, I mean, I'm at the gym. I was at the, actually at the gym. I was yep, like, no, I'm yep. not going to. I can't. I can't do it. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, she's just using me for a ride because yeah, she knows yeah, I right. like her or whatever. Yeah. And then she DM me and she was like, can you give us a ride? Blah, blah, blah. And I just kind of I was actually just such an asshole because really, I was yeah. like, I thought she was just using me. I didn't know. She's like the nicest girl in the world, yeah, too. Yeah. And um. I gave her my Snapchat actually. Whoa. I was like, add the snap, nice. which is like so stupid. That's a dog move. Added right there. She added the snap. We <laughs> snapped a little bit. Town move. <laughs> yes, it is, dude. That's an Easty move yeah, right what's there. What's your number? Yeah, Here's the snap. Yeah. Here's the, it'll just start with the snap. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about the number. I got you. <laughs> I ended up uh, grabbing her number the next day, and then we went out like a few days later. We hit it off, and um, yeah, history ever since. Is this love? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, wow. it's going good. Honestly, yeah. Well, congratulations, yeah. On you know, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> so, it. What yeah, do you well, say when you DM? Like, what what got you in to that? Like, well, we have got well, you a girlfriend. No we, we have, <laughs> I think number one thing is like the three a.m. You ups are yeah, not, not working. working. No, we we no. had we had a we had mutual friends, so like it kind of helped. Okay. You know what I mean in that okay. sense. But what do you think? You're the, you're I think you're right. like, you gotta I got a plan for you. Just you know, I would love to cook for you. Oh yeah, yeah. But then right, just, and then I burn the cereal. Oh, no, 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 no. Coming from a single guy. No, 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 no. Listen, hit me up. I'll cook for you and just something happened like in your house like you can't right. cook or we'll just go to this restaurant. I'll burn the right. cereal. And and then then like, was good. It was really good. I, yeah, got, I, was laughing. Yeah, I like to burn the cereal. Or you call him up. He puts it in a nice Tupperware for you. Right, just right. Just eat it up in the fucking what oven. Woman's I perspective. Single guys, what would be the advice you'd give to single men right now? Cook for you. Because like DM is the game. So it would be through a DM. You guys were through a DM. DM you and DM. it was through a DM. That's 90% My, I mean, every DM. girl's different. Some people just love attention. I hated attention. So what made me respond to Kevin was that he said nothing about my looks. The amount of DMs girls get, no matter what you look like, every girl's beautiful. But no matter what, you get, oh, you're so hot, you're so sexy, like, DM girl, fire flames. No, you're blocked immediately. Yeah, definitely <laughs> definitely not that. Don't definitely do that. Not. No, 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 no. See, Swipe I'm not even doing that Swipe in with a conversation. Either. Like, Kevin sw uh, was in my DMs because we were talking about the Patriots. Like, right. I usually try to start with, like, some right. sort of a light joke. I think you start with you're a like, picture. like, warm up a little bit. By a your light southern joke, region, That's what I've seen. Like give something. A, give me a light joke. Like, like a light joke well, what did we do when it was? Oh, I know. Remember you the said, twins? Uh, yeah, remember you the said, twins? You said, there were these two was, smokes, dude. And then knock, that? knock, and then here's my. <laughs> no, there were these two Scotland, smokes. I'm giving you eyes. <laughs> Twins, I know huh? the twins, twins too. So, oh well, well like the for the story. sake of the story, for the, the sake story. of the story, yeah. Kevin's sweating and, in his seat yeah. right now. <laughs> I'm a twin. Is that what you referring to? So the <laughs> other twin, <laughs> I like, I like DM'd her, and it was like some selfie she took. She looked gorgeous, obviously, yep. but there was like some antique bicycle in the back, and there was some weird comment about Ashley's like the, bike for when she was a kid, yeah. <laughs> 1994, baby. <laughs> right. Vintage. Either way, vintage. Um, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it like, I mean, I got an answer. We went back and forth for like the rest of the day, and right. that was. It. Right. So it didn't work. Right. <laughs> it didn't work. Out. I was like, well, it's I tell so all the time. You're, the didn't test work. pool you're going in is Southie. Yeah. We're not going to find well, I get, like you guys yeah. ever go out in Southie? Yeah, yeah, a no. little bit. Not no. crazy because, like, when we started, I mean, being in the city, it's like you, you get so much of the fucking city. I don't want to be in the fucking city. Right. But we're not, I mean, at least me, I wasn't a crazy party animal, like, going out. I feel like Southie's more for. Like people in college that go to college here. Oh, it's a, no, well, no, the the college kids <laughs> come around, dude. Oh <laughs> Tell me about it. But Those like we were more around. like, yeah. dude, we were like when I, I started drinking at like 15 years old behind the hockey rink in Eastie with all my friends. So like yeah, yeah. I got all the crazy pot partying out like from 15 to 18. So by yeah, the time yeah. I went to college, it was like, You're oh, cool house parties. Like that's fun here right. and there. But like when I turned 21, by that time, I was like almost like out of yeah, it. Yeah. I went to like Wild Rover and Faneuil Hall a yeah, couple times. Yeah. I went to Broadway and Southie a few times, but yep. really quick. I was just like, this is stupid. Yeah, you know? yeah. I got a couple <laughs> girlfriends like it was just like, why am I even? Wasting mm -hmm. my money right now. Yeah, yeah. You know? But I mean, it's a good time though. I think it's. I think it's fun. I black out. Brun brunch is our new so. thing. Brunch is our new thing. Brunch. Brunch yeah. is a good time. Straga mimosas. Huh? Potential brunch segment. That'd be fun. That'd be sick to yeah. do a show That'd at brunch. Sick. That'd be sick to Have do a mimosa, a nice mimosa Dude. tree. Yeah. 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 Uh, Wicked craft. Uh, is that the yeah. one in the? Um, I on Salem Street. Yeah, yeah. Wicked craft, sick. Good spot. I, yeah, have I, you been to Flamingo? I haven't had brunch. Flamingo. They have. They do brunch. I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think they flamingo do much. Pink flamingo? Dude, you could, you know what? You should just, we just need pop the pink my head. flamingo. It's actually you should just do the uh, brunch reviews on social. Hit like Strega, 
that That's Wicked Place. Yeah, uh, so uh, we've local done video Lincoln. 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 actually do, do a review. Do it there. Yeah. Like, film it right on the spot. Just you know? be sloshed. Yeah. Like, those would <laughs> exactly. crush. Lit. Yeah. Cause it sucks. Think about it. What, every time we've done a brunch spot, it's been not from us hearing out from friends. It's been from social media. From it's social been media, she'll yeah. forward me a video. I'll be like, we're going there same Saturday. Thing, yeah, no, you know same what thing. I mean? I've done a lot of brunch. Yeah, but like just a lot of people message me to do to do like you come should. into their restaurants. No, I do. I do for sure. You and I got to chat because I have, when it comes to food, segment. I have so many ideas for food. You should do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. that well, would be. Uh, Publico was fun too. We went to Publico. Publico is good. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's fun. Look at that. Yeah, Ashley, I love to eat. <laughs> I'm right, starving let's, right let's now. Let's plug up. Where can everybody find you? Yeah, 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 what's what's course. going on next that you want to you know plug? Like, yeah. Let's plug both of you up. Right yeah, now. let's uh, let's shout out chopping it up the cooking show. Yep. Uh, that'll be out. I wish Kyle was in here so I can. I wish Kyle was in here so I can give him a little smack. Uh, whenever it knocks, <laughs> Kyle's working hard. I know he's working hard. That should be out. He was he was at us a uh, card place with Jack. Yeah, he was actually he was there. actually doing more work for this he podcast, which is a little he weird. Did he, did he tell you he was there? Oh, no, he did. Put him in some hot water right now. Uh, Love you, Kyle. But chopping it up. Uh, check us out on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Just I think it's actually chopping it up TV because everyone yep. took chopping it up. So Bastards. chopping it up TV on all socials. Uh, that'll be out over the next week or two. Um, Tommy Garino on all socials. I'm um, going to be pushing out some YouTube shorts. Get on YouTube. Yep. Uh, and merch. Trying to trying to pump out some merch Hell soon. Yeah. So work, working yeah. on that as well. Um, but yeah. And then Love the it. talent agency. Pinnacle talent agency. Be on the lookout. I'd say the next month. We're building out the website right now. Hell so yeah. once that's all done. Perfect. Salami daddy. What are we Salami what daddy. Plug? Big salami daddy. <laughs> Uh, it's more like just the prosciutto poppy on Instagram. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's all we're rolling with. Yep. Kevin, okay, can you spell prosciutto? Uh, I can. Uh, silent K in the mm. beginning, I believe. K as in knife? <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. I believe there's a niner in there somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, even with the food thing, uh, like hitting wall burgers, you guys with the accents That'd hitting be wall burgers, dude, yeah. doing so a review on wall burgers. I'm almost mad I don't do food because dude, wall like, burger would I have so many. Food. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I need a radar. Wall burger would pick that stuff. up, dude. We in a fucking I second. never even had Wahlburgers. You guys go to Wahlburgers with the accents. I'm more of a like, fuddruck yeah, this guy. It's nothing crazy, yeah, though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Dude, have him pick that shit up. Gotta get Maki Maki. Yeah, exactly. The whole funky bunch. Rush. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll team up for that for sure. Def Talk, yeah, bro. Anything you guys want to do, like, we're, we're more than Hell yeah. Open a collab. Oh, Hell yeah. Well, but, uh, thank you both for coming on. It's been huge. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah.